Okay, today's lesson is on how to develop absolute 100% confidence, trust, and consistency with your forehand. How can you do that? Well, I want you to focus on one area of the swing, and that's called the contact zone or contact area. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, if this was the contact point where this ball is right there, this is the contact point. The contact zone is this area here. Now, how, how wide is that? That's about a foot to a foot and a half. Okay, so that's your contact zone. Now, the key is to make sure that your racket is coming into that contact zone and getting vertical, okay? Because when you hit the ball, you need an absolute vertical racket moving from low to high, okay? So I bring the racket back. Now from here, remember, if you're hitting with topspin, and this is, of course, topspin we're talking about, you're gonna swing low to high, okay? So how low do you have to get the racket? Approximately a foot lower than the contact point. And that has to happen, that foot lower happens back here, okay? So now I can have a nice low to high swing. But remember, when you're coming into the contact zone or contact area, the racket starts out closed or facing down, okay? That's a closed face racket, facing down. Now, at that, when your racket is a foot below the contact point, back here, the racket is facing down. Now, as I come up, the racket will naturally start to get vertical. Okay, so I'm coming into the contact zone right there and we can see that racket is pretty much vertical and it's moving from low to high. Okay, that's going to impart the topspin because many people are confused on this and this is, they think the racket's rolling over the ball or whatever and that's the reason we're doing this video because if you're doing that, you're gonna have all kinds of errors all kinds of mistakes. This movement, that uh, windshield wiper movement, if you will, happens after the ball is gone. So, I'm a foot below the ball, the racket faces down, I'm swinging up, the racket becomes vertical in that contact zone, but it's still moving from low to high. I hit the ball, I drive through the ball, it's still vertical here. Now, the ball's gone now, so I just windshield wiper over the shoulder. I like to use this even to show you even better. Okay. The black part of this tube, okay, the black part of the tube is the contact point, that's the ball. So I start a foot below this point here, back the, when the racket's back here, racket face is closed, facing down. I come up, I'm coming into the contact zone, the racket is vertical, moving from low to high. I hit the ball right there. Now, I just drive through, the ball is gone. Do I have topspin? Yes because the racket's moving low to high. Did I do this? No. You hit, the ball's gone, then do that. Then you can roll that wrist or windshield wiper motion, whatever you wanna call it, over your shoulder. If you focus on the contact zone and that racket moving from low to high and the racket is vertical in that foot to a foot and a half, you are gonna see absolutely fantastic results 
with your forehand. So you may have to tell yourself things like, hey, don't, don't do this. Remember, your brain's in control. So <laughs> tell your wrist, don't do that. Your brain should be able to tell your wrist not to do that, okay? So remember, the hinge on the swing is the shoulder. It's the front of the shoulder. That's the hinge. The wrist comes into play after the ball is gone. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. Turning the shoulders, getting the feet in position. Now the racket starts to drop down. Okay, right there the racket is a foot lower than the contact point. Now as I swing forward, I'm swinging from the shoulder. Coming into the contact zone right there, you can see the racket's vertical and it's moving from low to high. Okay, you can see the wrist has not rolled over. Now I'm going to do that windshield wiper and finish over the shoulder. Okay, another one in slow motion. Turning the shoulders, getting the feet in position, the racket drops down right there. Okay, right there I'm a foot lower than the contact point. Okay, the swing from the shoulder. Right before contact you can see the rackets coming into that contact point vertical. Now, the wrist here is just rolling over. I'm doing that windshield wiper motion right there. Finishing over the shoulder. Okay, here's another one from the rear view. Turning the shoulders, getting the feet set up. The racket's going to drop down right there. Okay, right there. This is a rather high ball. It's a foot lower than the contact point. As I come in, I'm just about at contact. The racket is vertical, moving from low to high. And you could see the wrist, after the ball was gone, rolled over, finish over the shoulder. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Focus when you're out practicing, focus on that contact zone. That foot to a foot and a half, the racket is vertical, moving low to high. You're gonna get topspin and you're going to be very consistent and gain that confidence that you want. Now, are you gonna make every ball? No, you're not, you know, you're gonna make mistakes, but you're gonna gain some confidence in your forehand because you know you're working on the right thing, staying vertical in that contact zone. That's the key to consistency, confidence, and trusting your forehand, even when you're under pressure. So please give a like, a thumbs up for this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you are notified anytime I do any videos. All the best, guys, to your tennis success. Take care.